said, no, you cut bankers hours. Well, I was out with Jed Ames and Willie Joe Gar last night. Yeah, about as trustworthy as two stepped on rattlesnakes. Well, so you're the one that brought him in as partners up those two fields up in uh, Galveston? No, I brought the daddies in. Men you could trust with a handshake. Well, we surely got a lot of new business with him now. I called it to him. They don't go to the John without asking me first. Where does your uh, brother fit into all this? Well, yeah, he's doing fine. I just talked to him. I got a feeling you're trying to make an office boy out of him. He had no cause coming rubbing to you to complain. He's talking about quitting, going into construction business. That's the first I heard of it. Well, you knew that I always had mine, the two of you working together. That's not happening. Yeah, he needs more experience, Dad. That's a young company you're running, JR. Family business. Bob's got a right to know what's going on. Every detail, every meeting. I'm telling you, he's just too impulsive to sit in on every meeting, and that's all there is to it. How many years is that going to take? Five, ten, Dad, 15. when you told me to take over you and all, you said I could, I could handle it any way I saw fit, and that's the way I see. Dad? Yeah, you all right? What's the matter? Oh, God. Hey! Ain't nobody here. Operator. Operator, South Fork Ranch. Get an ambulance out here right away. South Fork Ranch. Dan. It appears John has suffered coronary insufficiency. How bad? I don't know. There's no testing equipment here. Uh, I can't get his blood pressure stabilized. I'd like to get him into Dallas Memorial. I wish he'd been taken there first. We've lost some valuable time. Well, then I don't think we should stand around talking, do you? He'll be OK, Jerry. Well, has anybody tried to reach Bobby? Well, I don't think he cares the way he started in on Daddy today. Something I suppose you put him up to. Are you trying to make me responsible for Jock's heart attack? Come on, Jane. I'm just going to eat this. All right. Operator? Houston information, please. Don't you do anything foolish, you hear? JR, how's Daddy? Why did you run off to Houston? Never mind that. It seems you're not above making deals on the hospital Daddy steps. Daddy is sick upstairs, sick because of you, you and your wild schemes. That's the way what I hear it, he collapsed arguing with you. Do you have to hear? I'll tell you what we are arguing about. We're arguing about you, you and th threatening to leave Ewing Oil. You just haven't taken the time to learn how to learn the business. That's your problem. That's not true, Jr. Yeah. Well, what do you think worked him up? How should I know? He was fine when I left. Fine, was he? We were arguing about you, and you're just moving too fast, boy. You're the one who took him to that two-bit hospital and forgot to call a doctor. Are you trying to blame me for what you did to him? Bobby, the most important thing is to see your daddy right now. 